And according to the neurovisceral neuro integration theory, there is a bottom up process where information is integrated progressively as it moves up through these various uh, systems. There is also a top down process that facilitates control and agency. So let me give you a good example to sort of demonstrate this top down and bottom up physiological process. So imagine like you're me and you're about to step on the stage to give an important presentation and your body immediately begins gathering and transmitting data. So your heart rate increases, sending in signals to your brain about your physiological arousal. Your stomach tightens, creating awareness of tension. Your palm becomes sweaty, signaling potential stress. And you sense the room temperature, the audience size, and the spatial light layout. And this information flows upward to integration centers, which includes the insula, the, the cingulate cortex, and the prefrontal regions, which provides a comprehensive status report of your internal state in environmental conditions. Now, simultaneously, you have higher brain regions exert control to align bodily responses with your goals. So your prefrontal cortex recognizes, I want to do a good job to deliver this presentation effectively. And so the executive network inhibits the excessive sympathetic activation that might impair performance. Your cognitive or my cognitive reappraisal processes reframes the nervousness as helpful excitement. And then the attention networks focuses on resources on task relevant aspects of the environment. And the memory systems retrieve practice content and prior successful experiences. So this top-down regulation modulates the initial bottom-up signals, creating an adaptive physiological state that supports your performance goals.